my brother, my sister, I advise you to share the link. I advise you to like the service. If you are following on Facebook, don't forget to like the service. If you are following on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and to like. If you are following the service on Radio Fort Bean, Radio Fort Bean, Reading Sermons and the Prayer Hubs, don't forget to like the service and subscribe in order to be connected. Every time you will be connected when we start our service, our sermon. Remember our sermons, they are called healing sermons. Healing sermons. Hallelujah. Yes, my brother, my sister, the sermon that we present every time, they are called healing, healing sermons. Healing sermons to heal our body, to heal our spirit, to heal our soul, to, to heal our soul, to heal, to heal our finances, to heal our body, spirit and soul, our businesses, our families, our marriages. Most importantly, to heal our soul. That is very important. The word of God does everything. La parole. The title of our message today is uh, The Lord Our God. The Lord Our God. We are going to take the Bible. Nous allons donc prendre our first uh, biblical verse, my brother and my sister, is uh, Isaiah chapter 25 from 1 to 8. The second biblical verse is uh, Matthew chapter 11. Yes, Matthew chapter 11 from 25 to 27. Be connected, my brother and my sister. We are going to read Isaiah chapter 25 from 1 to 8. First of all, in French. And I will read in English. So, brother Adam, first you open it there. You read along with us. While you are getting ready, my brother, my sister, we present this short advert to be connected. Hallelujah. Go check out Healing Sermons and Prayer House with Pastor Daniel Watson. Available today on Podbean and more. Go to podbean.com and search Healing Sermons and Prayer House. Offering live healing services on this radio channel. This offer is for a maximum of five family members that can enter the online healing studio to pray for the sick. Check out the website for more information, themosthighgod.org, and tune into the podcast. You can also find it on Spotify, Amazon Music, YouTube as well. Search Healing Sermons with Pastor Evangelist Daniel Watson, the founder of the Trinity of the Most High God. That's D-A-N-I-E-L-O-U-A-K-S-O-N. Many episodes up for you to listen to already. Make sure you subscribe to be notified of future releases. And you can also connect and stay tuned on Facebook at The Perfect Healer, on Twitter at Daniel Marketour, or just download the Podbean app and stream directly from there. That's Healing Sermons and Prayer House with Pastor Daniel Watson. Go listen, download, and subscribe today. Hello. Follow the inspired Word of God, Healing Sermons to Feed Your Soul. Your soul needs to eat the Word of God. Join us on Podbean app, the channel name is Healing Sermons. You can also follow us on YouTube channel, Watson. Hello, listen to Healing Sermons every day to change successfully your heart for Jesus Christ. Healing Sermons by Pastor Daniel Watson on Podbean app. Install now the application and connect to Healing Sermons channel. Bonjour, écoutez les sermons de guérison tous les jours pour changer avec succès votre cœur pour Jésus-Christ. Sermon de guérison du pasteur Daniel Watson sur l'application TODBEAN. Installez maintenant l'application et connectez-vous au canal des sermons de guérison. Online Prophetic Orientation is a prophetic service where the Holy Ghost uses Pastor Daniel Watson by the grace of Jesus Christ to guide children of God. You enter our studio face to face with the man of God for orientation and deliverance prayers. Go to our website www.jesuschristthehealer.com to register. Remember, distance is not a barrier. Jesus Christ loves you. Join our studio without installing anything. L'orientation prophétique en ligne est un service prophétique où le Saint-Esprit utilise le pasteur Daniel Watson par la grâce de Jésus-Christ pour guider les enfants de Dieu. Vous entrez dans notre studio face à face avec l'homme de Dieu pour des prières d'orientation et de délivrance. 
Rendez-vous sur notre site www.jesuschristthehealer.com pour vous inscrire. N'oubliez pas que la distance n'est pas un obstacle. Jésus-Christ vous aime. Rejoignez notre studio sans rien installer. À très bientôt. Hello. You are following healing sermons with Pastor Daniel and the Most High God. Stay connected. Vous suivez des sermons de guérison avec le Pasteur Daniel. Connectez-vous maintenant au nom de Jésus-Christ. Go check out Healing Sermons and Prayer House with Pastor Daniel Watson. Available today on Podbean and more. Go to podbean.com and search Healing Sermons and Prayer House. Offering live healing sermons. Hello. We are following healing sermons with Pastor Daniel and the Trinity of the Most High God. Stay connected. Vous suivez des sermons de guérison avec le Pasteur Daniel. Connectez-vous maintenant au nom de Jésus-Christ. Yes, my friend and my sister, we are back here in this studio. Ma soeur, mon frère, I am going to read this in English and you too open your Bible in French. Toi aussi, ouvre en français parce que nous allons partir une fois pour toutes ici. Isaiah chapter 25 from 1 to 8. Please open it there. You read along with me. We start with the verse 1. Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name. For in a perfect faithfulness, You have done wonderful things, things planned long ago. That is the verse one, my brother, my sister. In this verse, we understand that the prophet Isaiah is talking about the Lord, who is, is God. Now, what is the Lord, and then what is God finally here? That is where we are, the Lord, our God. The Lord is our God. In French, let me say this. I will exalt you, je vais, for in a perfect faithfulness, you have done wonderful things and the things planned long ago. Donc, on comprend que, my brother, my sister, we understand here, in uh, Isaiah chapter 25, we say one, the Lord, you are, Lord, you are my God. It is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is our Lord, and at the same time, our God. It's so simple as it is, isn't it? Jesus Christ of Nazareth is our Lord, at the same time, our God. You will understand that the Lord is someone who has power and authority over subject, over people. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he has a power and authority. And the power and authority have been given to him by Yahweh, the Father. So everything is with him. Everything is with him. If we see the Father, we see the Son. If we see the Son, we see the Father. Do you understand? That is... Even the name of this ministry, the Trinity of the Most High God. The Trinity of the Most High God. We operate under the announcing of the Trinity of the Most High God. The important word here is the Most High God. But the Most High God operating in the Trinity. That is why it is said the Trinity of the Most High God. The word which is the word the key here is not the Trinity, but the Most High God. The Most High God operating in the Trinity is the same God who is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. In this verse 1 of chapter 25 of Isaiah, The prophet is saying, you, my Lord, you are my God. God is a, is a subject of worship. If a person is your God, it means that you will bow down before him. The devil is also God, a God too. He is a subject. There are people in this world, they worship the devil. They bow down before the devil. They respect, they respect the command of the devil. 
it is the devil here becomes the God. Do you understand? So God is a subject, an object of worship. A God is an object of worship. But our God is the one who created heaven and earth. Our God is the one who created heavens and earth. The God of other people did not create heavens and earth. They were created by our God. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 25 from 1 to 8. We are here at Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1. It's a follows. We understand that our God is our Lord. And our Lord is our God. Our Lord is Jesus Christ of Nazareth because he has power and authority over us. He is our God because he is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Here we talk about the Trinity of God. The Trinity of God. We do not have three gods. We have only one God who is our Lord. And He is our God. When we refer to the Creator, we see our God. When we refer to the Lord, to the Redeemer, to the Savior, we see Jesus Christ of Nazareth. How do you look at Jesus Christ? You look at Jesus Christ in the quality, in the context of a son, it is possible. You look at Jesus Christ in the context of the Holy Ghost, it is another thing. You look at Jesus Christ in the context of God the Father, it is another thing. The anointing that you received it depends on how do you look at Jesus Christ? That is why Jesus Christ himself, when he was praying or speaking to God, you're going to see that he's referring to the Father. Do you see? We will understand it when you're going to read Matthew chapter 11. My brother, my sister, here we are. We need to understand that the God that we are serving is the God of the Trinity. That God who is God the Father is the same. God the Son is the same. Is that God? God the Holy Ghost is the same. Is the same. There is no difference. But what is good here is that if you and I, we understand the power of the Trinity of the Most High God, there are many things you and I are going to benefit. Look, if you are referring to God as God the Father, you're going to benefit of the power of a creation in your life. Because our Father is the Creator. You're gonna, you will stimulate the announcing of a creation. God the Father is that God who created the heavens and earth. He has the power of everything. But God, the Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, if you are addressing to God, the Son, you are going to benefit the redemption, the forgiveness of the sin, the reconciliation, the rest restoration. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is 
there is only Lord that we have who died on the cross of Calvary for you and I. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God the Son is that God who releases the power of the redemption, the atonement, the atonement. It's through Jesus Christ, the Lamb upon the cross. God the Holy Ghost is when you pray to God the Holy Ghost, it means that you are stimulating the Holy Ghost to make you like God. To make you like God. When you pray to God the Holy Ghost, at this particular moment, you will stimulate the Holy Ghost to make you like God. You stimulate the Holy Ghost in you and to be like God. To act like Jesus, to do like Jesus, to operate the miracle, to represent Jesus Christ everywhere you go. You represent Yahweh everywhere you go because the Holy Ghost is with you. The Holy Ghost is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Do you see the key of the Trinity, the name that has been given to me? which is the name of this ministry, the Trinity of the Most High God. The basic word is not the Trinity, but it is the Most High God. But the Most High God operating in the mystery of Trinity. That is why you can see here, Isaiah chapter 25, verse 1, the Bible is talking about the Lord is our God. He is the same who is our Lord, who is our God. And he is the same, who is the Holy Ghost. But the way you address him, the way you communicate with him, or the way you look at him, it is the same way you are going to receive from him, based on the characteristic of the father if you address you speak to the father as the son you are going to receive the grace of the redemption if you speak to the father as the holy ghost you are going to receive the grace to represent him if you are speaking to the father as the creator as the father you are here receiving the power of a creation the power of a creation in your life to make to do miracle to create to recreate god the father is the god who has the power to create the power to receive the power to save but God the Son is the Redeemer, is the bridge, is the go-between, is the intercessor, is the mediator. So for you to be in a harmony with the Father, you need God the Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is the same God operating in the mystery of the Trinity. It is very important, my brother, my sister, when you and I, we have understood the mystery of a Trinity. Our God manifested himself in the mystery of a Trinity. He is the same person who acts as the Father, as the Son, and the Holy Ghost. He is the same person. The Lord is my God. Isaiah chapter 25, verse 1. But when you understand this mystery, you will address to our God in the quality of the Father and to receive what the Father can give you. You address to God in the quality of a son. You receive the grace of the Son. The grace of the Son, it is the Redeemer, the redemption, the restoration, 
the forgiveness of our sin and to be restored back to the Father. Oh, the Father is seated in the Holy of the Holies. It is a true Jesus Christ who is the Lamb upon the cross. You and I are going to enter the place of the Father. That is where we have the fullness of the blessing of the kingdom of God. It is in the house of the Father. To be in the house of the Father, my brother, my sister, we need to pass through Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is God the Son. Is the same person, but who has a place called the Holy of the Holies, for you to enter the Holy of the Holies, my brother, my sister, you need to benefit the right of the redemption. The right of the redemption will give you access to the holy place, the secret place of the Father. When you invoke the Holy Ghost, you stimulate him to make you an ambassador like God to operate everywhere because the Holy Ghost represents Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When he went to heaven, he multiplied himself through the Holy Ghost inside you, inside me. I believe you understand this. The Lord is my God. Isaiah chapter 25, verse 1. Our Lord is our God. Now see now what he can do. Voyez maintenant ce qu'il peut faire. Je commence à lire. On repart maintenant ensemble dans Esaïe chapitre 25, de 1 à 8. Let us go back to Isaiah chapter 25, from 1 to 8. I'm going to now read. Read along with me, please, in order to understand what our God can do. God the Creator. Here we talk about God the Creator. Our Lord as God. Our Lord as the Father. What can He do? Ici, on se read inside your heart. Yes, while I'm reading Isaiah 25 from 1 to 8, you will understand now the power of the Father. You will understand the power of the Father. Lord, you are my God. Verse 1, verse 1. Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name. For in a perfect faithfulness you have done wonderful things. Things planned long ago. Verset 2. On va lire maintenant ensemble le verset 2. Lisons avec moi. You have made the city a heap of rubble. The fortified down a ruin. The foreigners stronghold a city no more. It will never be rebuilt. Let us read verse 3. You see the power of our father? That is the power of the father. Verse 3. Le verse 3. Therefore, strong people will honor you. Cities of roughless nations will revere you. You can see, you and I, we revere Jehovah. We revere the Father. Our God is powerful. He can make even evil people to honor Him, to revere Him. You see how powerful is our Father? Not you have been a refuge for the poor, a refuge for the needy, in the distress, a shelter from the storm, and a shade from the heat. For the breath of the roughness is like a storm driving against a wall. 
Verse 4, we understand that our God, our Father, is our refuge. Dans le verset 4, on comprend notre Père, il est qui? Il est notre refuge. Verset 5, on est ensemble. Lisez avec moi. And like the heat of the desert, you silence the uproar of a foreigners as a heat is reduced by the shadow of a cloud. So, the song of the roughness is stilled. Do you see how powerful is our Father? Vous voyez six. On this mountain, the Lord Almighty will prepare a feast of rich food for all people, a banquet of aged one, the beast of meat and the finest of words. Verse 6, we see here the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, meaning that the Father in the position of the Lord, you can see he is the one who is the actor, the actor of a feast, the actor of a feast, the actor number one of a feast, of a celebration. Dans le verset, on this mountain, he will destroy the shroud that enfold all peoples, the sheet that covers all nations. Our Father who created heavens and earth is powerful. Notre Dieu qui a créé les cieux et la terre est puissant. Voilà la puissance de notre Papa. Verse 8, verse 8. He will swallow up death forever. Alleluia. The sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. He will remove his people's disgrace from all the earth. The Lord has spoken. Death will be destroyed. There will be no more death. Death and you and I, we are going to live forever, eternally. What a powerful Father we serve. What a powerful Father we serve. Quel Dieu puissant que nous sommes en train de servir, ma soeur, mon frère. Il va tuer la mort. La mort sera morte pour toujours. Our Father will kill death. Death will be death and forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us take this now, verse Matthew chapter 11. Please open Matthew, Matthew chapter 11. Open the Bible, Matthew chapter 11, from 25 to 27. Mama Gisele, you want to prepare and to read in French. Yes, Matthew chapter, chapter 11. From 25 to 27. Matthew. Go check out Healing Sermons and Prayer House with Pastor Daniel Watson. Available today on Podbean and more. Go to podbean.com and search Healing Sermons and Prayer House. Offering live healing services on this radio channel. This offer is for a maximum of five family members that can enter the online healing studio to pray for the sick. Check out the website for more information, themosthighgod.org, and tune into the podcast. You can also find it on Spotify, Amazon Music, YouTube as well. Search Healing Sermons with Pastor Evangelist Daniel Watson, the founder of the Trinity of the Most High God. That's D-A-N-I-E-L-O-U-A-K-S-O-N. Many episodes up for you to listen to already. Make sure you subscribe to be notified of future releases. And you can also connect and stay tuned on Facebook at The Perfect Healer. On Me. We are here to read Matthew, Matthew chapter 11. We are here, my soeur, my friend, to read Matthew chapter 11. I believe you are ready, my brother and my sister. I am going to read in, uh, in English. And uh, Mama Giselle is going to read in French. Je vais lire en Matthieu, chapter 11, from 25 to 27. 
At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Alléluia. Let us read this in French. On va donc... Yes, my brother, my sister, ma soeur, mon frère. You can understand when you read the verse 27. The verse 27 is saying, All things have been committed to me by my father. No one knows the son except the father. No one knows the son except the father. Meaning that for you and I to know Jesus Christ, we have to know the father. <laughs> hey, this is serious. Verset 27, restez là au verset 27. La Bible dit, le verset 27, You and I, we understand that we can't know the son. We can't know Jesus Christ of Nazareth if we don't know the father. The influence here is the father, number one. If really you know the father, you will know the son. Those people who don't know the son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as our Lord and Savior, I understand here that confirmed that they don't know the father. Do you see how serious it is? Do you, do you see how important it is to know the Trinity of the Most High God? Many people in this world, they say that they know the Father. But here the Bible is saying that they don't know the Father as long as they don't know the Son of the Father. That is why it is important for children, even on earth, to act like the father because when they see the children acting well they give honor to the father people they want to say yes these children they are really acting like the father we see the father in the life of the children if you know the father you will definitely know the son how come you and I, we don't know the Son, and you say that you know the Father? How come you, my brother, my sister, you ignore Jesus Christ of Nazareth as your Lord and Savior? You don't acknowledge him. You don't accept him. You consider him like an ordinary prophet, like an other prophet. Are you sure you know the Father? Because in the Father, there is the revelation of Jesus Christ as the Son of the living God. So if today you don't know Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, you confirm that you really you don't know the Father. We are here. This is the point number one. <laughs> Matthew chapter 11, verse 27. Let me say this in French. Matthieu, all things have been committed to me by my father. No one knows the son except the father. And no one knows the father except the son. How can you say that you know the father, but you don't know the son? 
If today you say you know the Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and you ignore the Father, it's a problem. You can't know the Father if you don't know the Son. And you can't know the Son if you don't know the Father. It's all in one. Look, my brother, my sister. The last point here, verse 27, is saying, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. And those whom the Son chooses to reveal him. To reveal him. Do you see? It is going straight even to you and to me. Not only the Father, not only the Son, but also you. So, Jesus Christ is also revealed by you. Wherever you go with the Holy Ghost, you reveal Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is now the Trinity of the Most High God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost here is in you. And you represent Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When they see you, people, they see Jesus Christ. Read well prophetically Matthew 11, verse 27. Not only the Father, not only the Son, but also you and I. We need to represent Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We need to represent God the Father. And that is through the Holy Ghost. So we see here God the Father, who is God the Son, and who is God the Holy Ghost. God the Holy Ghost is manifesting himself on the earth through you. I believe my brother, my sister, you have understood. You and I, we need to represent Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Holy Ghost inside us is the proof that we represent the Father through the fruit of the Father which you and I we manifest. The Holy Ghost inside us is the proof of the representation of the Father. Okay, through the fruit of the Father manifest in us. Write it down. Prophetic citation. Matthew chapter 11, verse, 20, verse 27 has given this prophetic citation. Write it down. The Holy Ghost inside us is the proof of the representation of the Father. Through the Fruit of the Father manifests inside us. Meaning that if today you and I, we have the Holy Ghost, and we fail to represent or to manifest the fruit of the Father, here there is a problem. Meaning that we have not yet fully represented the Father who has given us the Holy Ghost. Many of us, we fail to represent our Father because of lack of the manifestation of the fruit of the Holy Ghost. When people look at us, they see that they don't see God in us because the fruit that we manifest is against is contrary to the fruit of the Father. Our Father, through His love, has given us the Holy Ghost. Now, we need to manifest the fruit of the Father inside us. Then, we will now represent Yahweh. I believe you have understood, my brother, my sister. Write it down. That is the mystery of the Trinity of the Most High God. For the Trinity of the Most High God to manifest in you, you need 
to receive the Holy Ghost and manifest the fruit of the Father. For that, you, you will be the extension of the Trinity of the Most High God. Through you, you are going to represent the Father by the Holy Ghost. I believe you have understood my brother, my sister, and my service here. My brother, my sister, I'm going to take this pause for 30 seconds. And then I would like you to send your question right now. If there is no question when I'm back, then what we're going to do is to close the service of today. Remember the title of my message is our Lord is the Lord our God. So whenever Go check out Healing Sermons and Prayer House with Pastor Daniel Watson. Available today on Podbean and more. Go to podbean.com and search Healing Sermons and Prayer House. Offering live healing services on this radio channel. This offer is for a maximum of five family members that can enter the online healing studio to pray for the sick. Check out the website for more information, themosthighgod.org, and tune into the podcast. You can also find it on Spotify, Amazon Music, YouTube as well. Search Healing Sermons with Pastor Evangelist Daniel Watson, the founder of the Trinity of the Most High God. That's D-A-N-I-E-L-O-U-A-K-S-O-N. Many episodes up for you to listen to already. Make sure you subscribe to be notified of future releases. And you can also connect and stay tuned on Facebook at The Perfect Healer, on Twitter at Daniel Marketeur, or just download the Podbean app and stream directly from there. That's Healing Sermons and Prayer House with Pastor Daniel Watson. Go listen, download, and subscribe today. Hello. Follow the inspired Word of God, Healing Sermons to Feed Your Soul. Your soul needs to eat the Word of God. Join us on Podbean app, the channel name is Healing Sermons. You can also follow us on YouTube channel, Waxen. Hello, listen to Healing Sermons every day to change successfully your heart for Jesus Christ. Healing Sermons by Pastor Daniel Waxen on Podbean app. Install now the application and connect to Healing Sermons channel. Bonjour, écoutez les sermons de guérison tous les jours pour changer avec succès votre cœur pour Jésus-Christ. Sermon de guérison du pasteur Daniel Watson sur l'application PODBEAN. Installez maintenant l'application et connectez-vous au canal des sermons de guérison. Online prophetic orientation is a prophetic service where the Holy Ghost uses Pastor Daniel Watson by the grace of Jesus Christ to guide children of God. You enter our studio face to face with the man of God for orientation and deliverance prayers. Go to our website www.jesuschristthehealer.com to register. Remember, distance is not a barrier. Jesus Christ loves you. Join our studio without installing anything. L'orientation prophétique en ligne est un service prophétique où le Saint-Esprit utilise le pasteur Daniel Waxon par la grâce de Jésus-Christ pour guider les enfants de Dieu. Vous entrez dans notre studio face à face avec l'homme de Dieu pour des prières d'orientation et de délivrance. Rendez-vous sur notre site www.jesuschristthehealer.com pour vous inscrire. N'oubliez pas que la distance n'est pas un obstacle. Jésus-Christ vous aime. Rejoignez notre studio sans rien installer. A très bientôt. Hello, you are following Healing Sermons with Pastor Daniel and the Most High God. Stay connected. Vous suivez des sermons de guérison avec le Pasteur Daniel. Connectez-vous maintenant au nom de Jésus-Christ. No question, no question on Facebook, no question on YouTube, no question on the radio port B, no question. Dans la radio, my brother, my sister, raise up your voice. You need to thank the Holy Ghost for teaching us the word. Thank the Holy Ghost for teaching us the word. Thank the Holy Ghost for teaching us the word, the true word of God, the revelation of Jesus Christ, the revelation of the Trinity of the Most High God. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ, my brother, my sister. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master Jesus. Thank you, Master Jesus. Thank you, Master Jesus, for using my tongue to present your will. 
Bless your brother, bless your sister, bless your brother, bless your wife. Yes, bless, bless in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless, bless my brother. Continue to bless, bless the man of God. Bless the man of God. Bless the ministry, the Trinity of the Most High God. As you bless, Jehovah also gonna bless yours. There will be other people that will also bless your ministry. Bless, bless, bless. Continue to bless, continue to bless. Bless the God of the Trinity of the Most High God. Begin to bless the God of the Trinity of the Most High God. My Father, my Father, by your grace, I represent you through the Holy Ghost inside me. My Father, my Father, I present you through the Holy Ghost inside me by your grace. My Father, my Father, by your grace, I represent you through the Holy Ghost within me. Everywhere I go, I represent you, Lord, by your grace. Pray. Everywhere I go, I represent you, Jehovah, by your grace. Everywhere I go, in Africa, in Europe, in America, in Asia, in South Africa, in Asia, everywhere I go, I represent you, Jehovah, by your grace. Everywhere I go, I represent you, Jehovah, by your grace. Pray. Pray again, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, inside me. Express your fruit. Express your fruit. Express your fruit. Holy Ghost, inside me. Express your fruit. Express your fruit. Express your fruit. May your fruit, may your fruit, may your fruit overload me in the name of Jesus Christ for Nazareth. Pray. Speak to the Holy Ghost. Speak to the Holy Ghost. I am speaking to the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I want your fruit to manifest within me. I want your fruit to manifest on me. To manifest on me. I want your fruit to overload me. To overload me. To dominate me. To dominate me. To control me. To control me. To dominate me. In the name of Jesus Christ. The fruit of the Holy Ghost. Saint has been sent to me. May your fruit dominate me. May your fruit overload me. May your fruit overload me. In the name of Jesus Christ. May your fruit take over me. May your fruit take over me. May your fruit take over me. Holy Ghost, may your fruit take over me. May your fruit take over me in the day, in the night, in the dream, in the vision. May your fruit, Holy Ghost, take over me. May your fruit, Holy Ghost, take over me. Oh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want to represent you by your spirit. I want to represent you by your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, show yourself alive inside me. Show yourself alive inside me. Send us. Because you say, thank you, Jesus Christ. By your grace, people, they see you through me. Thank you, Jesus Christ. By your grace, people, they see you through me. Pray like that in the name of Jesus Christ. My soul, my friend. My father, my father, everywhere I go, I represent your son. Everywhere I go, I represent your son. It's by your grace. It is by your grace you are doing this. Everywhere I go, I represent your son. Everywhere I go, I represent your son. Everywhere Pastor Daniel Watson goes, he's representing your son. It's by your grace. Put your name, my brother. Applaud, applaud for the Holy Ghost.
Go check out Healing Sermons and Prayer House with Pastor Daniel Watson. Available today on Podbean and more. Go to podbean.com and search Healing Sermons and Prayer House. Offering live healing services on this radio channel. This offer is for a maximum of five family members that can enter the online healing studio to pray for the sick. Check out the website for more information, themosthighgod.org, and tune into the podcast. You can also find it on Spotify, Amazon Music, YouTube as well. Search Healing Sermons with Pastor Evangelist Daniel Watson, the founder of the Trinity of the Most High God. That's D-A-N-I-E-L-O-U-A-K-S-O-N. Many episodes up for you to listen to already. Make sure you subscribe to be notified of future releases. And you can also connect and stay tuned on Facebook at The Perfect Healer, on Twitter at Daniel Marketeur, or just download the Podbean app and stream directly from there. That's Healing Sermons and Prayer House with Pastor Daniel Watson. Go listen, download, and subscribe today.